Good morning, afternoon, evening or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching this video. Thanks for clicking. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the fragrance Gorse by the House Laboratory Perfumes. How genius is that? They've made a bottle with a milliliter gauge. So if you ever come to sell it, FYI, I'm never going to sell this. If you come to sell it, you know exactly how much is in there. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. This fragrance was £65 for 100ml. Uh, the company also sell like a discovery sample set and they sell candles of each of their fragrances. I did message the company and say, are you planning on releasing any smaller sizes, like a 50ml or a 30ml? And they said, no, currently it is just the 100ml bottles. So Dan Norton over at the channel, Mr. Smelly 87? Oh, I feel bad now, I forgot. I'll put it on black, I'll put it somewhere on the page. 87? 97? I can't remember, I can't remember. Anyway, Mr. Dan, over at Mr. Smelly's channel, he was the first person I ever saw to talk about this fragrance and what a legend he is for finding it. It is beautiful. If you like Creed's Virgin Island Water, which I really do, I bought the 75ml bottle and I went through it pretty sharp. I've got carpet on the floor, don't worry, the bottle is in perfect condition. That'll stay in as a blooper. Um, but yeah, if you like Virgin Island Water, this, in my opinion, is 99% there. I can't, after about half hour, I can't tell the difference. So yeah, guys, if you know Creed's Virgin Island Water, you know what you're going to get with this. It's got that fresh coconut vibe going on. Um, and it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're not a fan of coconut, stay clear. You're not going to enjoy it. Um, it is called Gorse, and if you look on the note breakdown, there's no coconut listed, but the Gorse plant, which is like a yellow, it's like a bush plant, um, that's what it smells of. We have quite a bit of it growing around here in West Wales, and it smells like coconut. If you get close enough, it smells like creamy, warm, sandy, beautiful coconut. But there is a little bit more going on in this fragrance, as with Virgin Island Water. So... To talk about Virgin Island Water just a little bit first, the three main things in that listed and what you get, coconut, lime and rum. And I feel like that fragrance is, it's just clean cut. That's what you get, you know, that's what you smell and that's what you get for the entirety of when you're wearing it, to my nose. This one is a little bit deeper in my eyes. I feel like when you spray it on, you get that initial blast, that citrus blast, which I personally think is lime. I personally do think it is. It's not listed, I think it just says citrus. But as I smell that straight away, my mind takes me to a mojito. That's a great place to be for me. I'm a big fan of mojitos. But it could be a mixture of lime, lemon, bergamot. It could be a mixture. It doesn't state exactly. But then it does go sandier, it goes warmer, it goes more into that coconut vibe. And in the bottom of this fragrance apparently is cardamom. I wouldn't call it spicy, I wouldn't call it a spicy fragrance, but it does add a depth to it. It adds a bit of a warming, a very subtle warming effect to the fragrance. To talk about the performance on this fragrance, guys, on my skin, it's a beast. It's an eau de toilette and it's a monster. Like I could spray four, maybe five sprays of this and smell it seven, eight hours later and it's projecting as well. The first three hours, it is, quite literally, screaming off my skin. I can smell it everywhere I go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. That's been my quick little video on Gorse by Laboratory Perfumes. If you own any of the fragrances, also let me know in the comments. I did buy, because I'm a sucker, I craved, I caved, I bought Tonka as well, which is another one of their fragrances. So there will be a follow-up video soon, but thanks for watching this one. It means a lot.